Welcome to Michelle Bowen's explanation and demonstration of Merrill's first principles of instruction. Dr. David Merrill is a professor emeritus at, the, at Utah State University. Dr. Merrill has dedicated his 40-year career to pursuing one question. How do we make instruction effective, efficient, and engaging for the learner? After studying the works of Tennyson, Schott, Dijkstra, Reschleth, and Say, he identified common underlying principles in each of their theories. In 2002, he published a paper entitled The First Principles of Instruction and identified five steps that will increase student learning when applied properly. Merrill first states that for effective learning to take place, the task must be centered on a real-world problem or task and that the tasks range from simple to complex. This is when the instructor identifies the overall goal of learning. Task for today. Your task for today is to design a roller coaster. It has to be a fully functional roller coaster that has loops and employs motion and kinetic energy. The next stage is activation. This is when learners are required to do one of three things. One, recall previous knowledge. Two, recall a structure for organizing that knowledge. Or three, they are given a structure for organizing the new knowledge. It's important to note that the recall of prior knowledge must directly be related to the problem or task they are asked to solve. It's been found that if you if inappropriate knowledge structures are activated, that can hinder the overall learning process. How many of y'all ridden a roller coaster? Very cool. Where'd you ride them at? Wooden or metal? Metal. How does it start out? You go up a big hill. You go up a big hill. A chain. Are you ever back on that chain? The third stage is the demonstration stage. This is when learners learn new skills, or knowledge is demonstrated to them in the context of a real-world problem or task. During this phase, it's important for the learner to continue to receive guidance as the tasks progress. Yeah. Alright, this BB is potential energy. It's got the potential to move, but it doesn't move yet. When it starts moving, that it turns all the energy that's stored up in this little bitty BB explodes out into kinetic energy. Did it finish? No. No. Why? What if I wanted to go in a loop? What would we need to do if you were going to make the force? We have to go up more. Go up more. All right. Did it go? The fourth stage is the application stage. This is when the learner actually performs a real-world task. As the learners begin to complete more complex problem-solving tasks, the instructor continues to provide scaffolding through feedback and error detection. Also, it is important that the learners solve a sequence of problems that increase in complexity as they move through. All right, guys, what you're going to do is you're going to use this app on those iPads, and it is Roller Coaster Builder. Your goal is to get all the way to the other side and is to go four levels. Think about what we're doing with the, all we we're up here doing with the tubing. And the goal is not to kill the people. Crashed. Why do you think crashed? Because I had a heel that was too heavy. Okay. What do you think you need to do now? To fix it. They arrive safely. <laughs> the last step is integration. The learners integrate the new knowledge into everyday life. At this stage, it is important for the learner to publicly demonstrate their newly learned skill this, or knowledge. Um, and we all built our roller coasters. JP and Houston uh, have one that was really neat and went the fastest. So uh, you guys are going to demonstrate it for us. Tell us about what you have. Go for it. This has been Michelle Bowen's review of Merrill's First Principles of Instruction. Thank you for your time.